So we're gonna use the Amoretti Cranberry Artisan. So use suggestion is seven to 14 ounces by weight per 10 gallons. We're working with a five gallon batch, which puts our low at 3.5 ounces. But to test it out, we're gonna pull out 12 ounces of beer which based on our lovely calculations, uh, we'll use about two grams of the artisan. Whoa. So we can try that uh, for flavor first before we pour way too much cranberry into all of our beer. So let's go get our gravity reading and let's flavor some beer. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that's it. 12 ounces of beer. I'm gonna do two grams. We're going to, whoa, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try and make this a little stronger than you might normally think to do because as it bottle conditions, we'll lose some of those aromas to the yeast. Okay, let's grab some cups. Try them. That's with two grams. I think the cranberry flavor could be a little stronger. More grams. More grams. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board and let's add one more gram and try it again. I think that's much better. Well, that our ratio of the higher end, so that'll be seven ounces for our five gallons. So we're gonna dilute this so it'll mix in with the rest of our beer really nicely. And then we'll transfer both into our carboy to finish off secondary fermentation. How much are you adding? Seven ounces. So we're gonna let her rip, make sure our lids pop so we're not sucking in the sanitizer. Wow, that's really nice and clear. Okay, we've got good flocculation. Trying to pour it down the tubing so it won't splash too much. Because the more oxygen that we mix in, the faster the beer will stale. Wow, the color is so amazing. And there we go. And we're just gonna wait for that to keep going. So we've got a teeny bit left, uh, just under an ounce left. So we're gonna save that and before we bottle, when we retransfer to this with our priming sugar for bottling, we'll taste it again and if we've lost enough of those aromas and things in this brief fermentation um, before bottling, then we can add the rest of this with our priming sugar to just give it a little boost of flavor and fizz. Okay, so we've gotten all of our beer out. We've got a little bit of sediment here. We don't want any of that, so we're gonna disconnect. And we are good to go for a couple days. We're gonna leave this for about three days to ferment off some of the extra sugars from the artisan um, so that we don't have any bottle bombs or excitement. And then we will transfer it back to here with our priming sugar and go to bottling. Okay.